Hi again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz 13 tip for you. If you read last week's USCF Sales blog, and if you didn't, shame on you, but if you did, you learned how to have multiple chess engines analyze a game in Fritz 13. We're going to demonstrate it today. We're going to show you uh, what we talked about in that blog. As you see right here, in the notation pane, we have all these moves that have been annotated by chess engines in different colors. That's what you can have this do. We're going to show you a little bit about how to do that today. First of all, you want to go to the game list view. Either click this button or hit F12 on the keyboard to bring up your game list. Highlight the game that you want to have analyzed. Let's do, oh, we'll do the one after the one I just did. And come up here, click database, and select compare analysis that's what this multi-engine analysis is called compare analysis click and you get this view and these are the engines I used the last time I ran this I'm going to take them off the list this is what you would see the first time you run it all of the stuff over here we've talked about in previous videos so I won't beat it up however there is a new one called node count if you check it what will be added to each engine's analysis is how many positions it analyzed to come to that conclusion. It's interesting if you want to look at how quickly different engines analyze compared to each other. Otherwise, you can leave it unchecked. I typically don't fool around with it too much. To add an engine to the list, you can make a whole long list of engines here that are going to analyze the game that you've highlighted. Click New, and it brings up your engine selection dialog after a moment. Here we go. Scrolling list of all the engines you have available. Just scroll to the one that you want. We'll start with uh, oh, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll start with um, let's start with Junior. Put your hash table size in. Very important. If you want to select any engine parameters to change the way the engine thinks, do it here. That's why I picked Junior first. I'm going to click engine parameters and I want to try something called random play and what that is it allows Junior to look for speculative sacrifices click OK variation color we'll just give it let's say that kind of a purple color here we'll click OK and we click OK here and we're done we have set up Junior now if we want to set up another engine we just click new pick another engine from the list this time we'll do Fritz 13 I don't want to change any engine parameters. Variation color. This is important because if you have multiple chess engines analyze a game, it's going to be hard to distinguish which engine says what unless you do them in different colors. It's a visual aid. And since St. Patty's Day is coming up in about three weeks or so, we'll make it a nice Kelly Green. Click OK. Click OK here. And now Fritz has been added to the list. Click New again. And this time we will go for Shredder. variation color we'll make shredder a light blue click OK click OK and we can add as many engines as we want to your time setting is important as we've seen in previous videos I will stress however as I did in the blog post that having three engines analyze one game takes about the same amount of time as having one engine analyze three games so realize that three engines takes three times longer to analyze a particular game. Keep that in mind before you go hog wild adding a ton of engines here. Okay. The other thing also, I'll show you this in a second, but uh, another thing is that it, the more engines you have analyzed, the harder it is to look at all that analysis at one time is what I wanted to say. And I'll show you that when we go back to the other view. When you're done adding engines, you click OK to start the process. If you decide you want to change an engine parameter, let's say I don't want Shredder's analysis in light blue, I can highlight it, click Edit, and pick a different color or change any other parameters. If I want to remove an engine from the list, such as say I don't want Shredder after all, I click delete, it takes Shredder off the list. Note that clicking delete does not delete the engine from your hard drive, it just removes it from the list. I think delete is a horrible word to use here, they should have just said remove, but delete does not permanently delete the engine, it just takes it off this list. So there we go. Click OK, the magic begins, and when you're done, you wind up with something like this. 
You can scroll up and down the list. Note that every actual move that is played outside of the opening book, opening book moves are not analyzed. However, every other move will be analyzed regardless of whether the engine agrees with that move or not. This is a way to get your attaboys. Uh, we've had people complain that when you use other analysis forms, the engine only shows you what you did wrong. Well, guess what? Here's your attaboys. Black played Rook E8 here. Fritz and Junior both think that was the move to play. So this person could say, whoever played black here could say, that was a good move. Notice that for every move, there is analysis. The last engine to analyze the game, the last engine of however many you have do it, the final one, this is that engine's analysis. Generally what you want to do is whatever engine you trust the most is the one you want to put in your list last because that's the analysis you're going to see here. For each engine, you get a variation, you get the analysis, and of course how far ahead it looked to come to that conclusion for the whole game. This is why I say you don't want to go hog wild with engines. Don't have seven, eight, nine engines analyze the game because you'd have to be scrolling up and down, up and down, up and down to be able to see all of that analysis. Three usually does very well. I like to pick a positional engine like Shredder or a High Arcs, a very tactical engine like Junior or the late lamented Chess Tiger, and then I have sort of a control engine, kind of the middle ground engine, which would usually be Fritz, and that way I get three different approaches to every position in the game. That's basically how you do it. Just go to the database view, click on the game you want to analyze, go to database, compare analysis, that brings up this dialog. Set your parameters and let her rip. Till next time, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.